you want to insulate things, uh, obviously, yes. with the temperatures. Yes. Uh, so our GPS trackers are inside of these. Okay. Uh, oh, and, uh, but, well, we've got a lot of extra space. So we're putting our uh, GPS unit that uh, one of our volunteers has been working on. We're testing a different GPS unit, much smaller, uh, smaller unit. Okay. It's a data logging GPS unit, so we're going to test it in flight. You know, just it's and then compare it to the equipment you're already using. Well, we're we're trying different um, units because this is what's going to go on the Spark mission rocket. Okay. Obviously, this couldn't. Yes. It's a little yes. too big. <laughs> so, Absolutely. So we want. Um, uh, but the mission, but but flying it on the balloon as another pay, as a secondary payload gives you an opportunity to test it all out. And yes. Have exactly. comparisons and all that. Exactly. And. This. So uh, it was this this bag. You just found a bag. Yeah, just, just a little. Cool. Yeah, just a little zip up bag. Yeah, a little and fanny pack it, type thing. Yeah, or whatever. filled it full of the foam cut yep. to fit the device, in, the radio in question, or whatever. Else. So it's insulated. Now yeah. this is uh, this is our brand new. By the way, this is definitely not your your phase one version. This, <laughs> this would be over your yeah, yeah. budget for just by the, itself. Yeah, nice. It's actually really sweet. Two million points of data lo um, points loggable. Um, it's got uh, all internal battery, all internal running. Uh, it's got an internal pressure sensor, um, temperature and uh, humid humidity oh, nice. sensors external. Um, pretty much does everything right there. Now we have the same things that we built. Uh, we have you know, things like Geiger counters, uh, pressure sensors, temperature sensors. Note the, uh, oh, geez, I gotta, yeah. note the, the, they've got their own tray standard, right? So this is, <laughs> th th this is, this, this is a rack size, you know, 1U of Adler payload is this yeah. big. This is 1U of Adler payload. And those were we can see they're all, all copies, right? This is one U, and they all drop into uh, standard payload size that we have. So, and then this is also that's something this different. Is a, actually, that's something different, actually. The, a, that was a okay, yeah, it's but not quite by the use. So no, no, that's multi U. That's not a. That's something different. Yeah. So, um, the the idea behind this, this was developed by some of the interns from uh, previous year, was uh, a standard bus. So, sure. The bottom box. Oh, actually, this was the bottom box. So this provides um, regulated power at different um, voltages. And what you do is you just, well, we actually took off the connections in that one. They had a couple design flaws. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> because they use Cat5 cables for, one was communication, one was power. Uh -huh. And so each one, you just plug into a different pin sure. um, for a different voltage requirement. So this, this requires uh, nine volts, and you, you plug into the nine volt regulated power from the central nice yeah. and then the communication all went down to data loggers also in the central bus so it was a, it's a nice system there are some engineering flaws in it for example cat5 cables can't bend that quickly yeah and when you drop them into the box obviously you they know, were you don't have the room them. for you yeah. <laughs> yeah exactly so it's like uh you know and this is one well of the punched. payload boxes one of the yeah. standard payload boxes okay i have right. the run um if you guys can grab this this 